Hey y'all, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Fab and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all the things. If you are an oldie but a pity, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, you know how we do. Happy Saturday, welcome to the weekend vlog. So I am leaving the gym. Today I worked on my legs, I did some abs and I did a little bit of cardio. Y'all, I absolutely suck at doing cardio. It's just so boring to me. However, I do like the bike because I used to do a lot of the spinning classes um, back in the day when I used to go to 24 Hour Fitness. Y'all, if you know about 24 Hour Fitness, if you know, you know, back in the day, 24 Hour Fitness had the gym scene on lock. And I used to be a faithful customer. They pissed me off during the pandemic and kept taking my money, even though the gym was closed and then the gym that I was going to never even reopened so I divorced them okay hooked up with fitness connection um they'll never be 24 hour fitness but it is what it is um but anyway I am not a very I'm not a cardio person unless it's like outdoors or like I said like the uh spinning bike because I do want to purchase a peloton bike um I absolutely love um, the spinning bike but anyway so I've decided that on the days that I do legs I'm going to burn my legs out um, by doing the bike so that is the plan but y'all I see the changes coming in my body I see my hamstrings popping out um, I can now work abs so yeah all I need to do is clean up my diet okay <laughs> Woo, child. your girl loves to eat Plus, I, I am an emotional eater. Um, I'm a hormonal eater. You know, all of the things that, you know, a lot of women struggle with. So I do struggle with overeating, emotional eating, snacking, um, all of those things. But I'm working on them. I'm a work in progress. I give myself grace. Um, but trust and believe, honey, we're not going to let this tummy tuck go to waste. So... Um, I'm making small changes here and there. I have really um, stopped going to Starbucks so much because even though you order your coffee a certain way, you really don't know what they be putting in it. Let's just be really, really honest. So making my coffee at home and having Starbucks as a treat as well as Dunkin' Donuts is just where I am right now. Um, we did have a, like a, a, we had a end of summer party at work and I did win a gift card to Starbucks, honey, because the God knows where my heart is, okay? My heart is with Starbucks, but my body and my pockets ain't, <laughs> okay? So, um, anyway, headed home to shower, to eat, because I'm starving. Probably going to make me some oatmeal and some hard-boiled eggs. 
Um, I need to do a little bit of house cleaning. Um, and then I don't, I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day. But I did want to come on and say, ladies, when you get into a relationship, marriage, do not lose yourself. I used to be that girl. My whole life revolved around my man. But I'm not that girl no more. Okay? My man brings value to my relationship. He's an added value. He's not my life. I have to continue with the um, things that I have in place that helped me heal. Number one, me being self-care and self-love. So as hard as I wanted to lay in the bed this morning with my man, I got my butt up and went to the gym. Because guess what? My body, I invested in it. It's a form of self-care and self-love, and it makes me feel good. Even though sometimes I just cannot stand the gym, but it, I always feel so, so good after a workout. So yeah, ladies, don't lose yourself. Continue everything that you were doing before you got that man, and then, you know, you can incorporate him if you want to, but I do believe in me time, um, alone time. Um, that's one of the things that I discovered about myself when I got divorced is that, child, I like to be alone. Never thought I would like that or never, you know, when you are going through a um, level up and a, a journey to improve yourself, to become the best version of you, you discover things. And child, I like to be alone. Okay, I, because I'm, I'm an extrovert. I love people. I love socializing. I'm a social butterfly. Okay, but I did realize that I like my time alone with my plants girl, and a little bit of ID channel. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't, don't play with me. But anyway, um, yeah, I was watching Maya Galore, her Q&A. Um, y'all know if y'all watch her, she just got engaged. I'm super excited for her. I feel like I know Maya. I don't know why, but I feel like that's my homegirl. But she did a Q&A and, and someone, uh, one of the questions were, were you can, would, would you continue to do your solo dates? And she's like, uh, yeah, okay, yes. She, and she's going to continue to love on her because those are the things that she did and you know I did to get me to this place so yes I will continue girl okay going to the gym um just doing all the things that I like to do that make Sheena happy so just wanted to bring you an early message in the vlog okay but yeah um like I said I don't know what today holds um i'm sure i will pick the camera up and talk with you um girls a little bit later but right now honey my stomach is touching my back and i need to get home so i can eat all right hey y'all so i'm going to um try to wear my hair curly today um y'all know I don't have a perm I'm natural I've been natural probably for about my last perm was in 2015 so yeah I've been natural for a while well I take that back because when I cut my hair and I went when I was wearing it blonde I did um perm it um so that was in 2018. So I stopped permanent. Okay. I stopped going blonde and then I just let the perm grow out. And but remember my hair was about this long then. So it didn't take long for my hair to grow back. So if you remember, my hair was blonde and short back in 2018. And now we have a head full of hair. But before I had um, cut my hair and went natural or before I cut my hair and went blonde my last perm was in 2015 and I did that in 2018 so but yeah I, I cut my hair and let it grow back um often I guess I don't know I was just threatening to cut it the other day and Nicole was like didn't you say you weren't gonna cut your hair no more so but anyway a lot of you guys asked me about my hair what do I do to my hair I do nothing 
And I think that's one of the reasons that it flourishes so much is because I don't do anything to it. Um, I occasionally um, get, well, not occasionally, I, you, I do protective styles. And then in between protective styles, I do nothing to it. I put it in a ponytail. I wet it every day. I make sure that it's moisturized. Um, I straightened it last weekend and I absolutely loved it. And then I kind of felt like I was getting that straight hair bug, but it's gone. Okay. Um, and the last time I straightened it was in January. So I don't straighten my hair often. Um, I prefer just to do a protective style or um, some braids. So I don't know. Uh, there's a very, um, I don't know if she's popular, but um, I do follow a hairstylist on Instagram. She does a lot of silk presses and keratin treatments. I'm thinking about going to see her maybe in the um, fall and winter because my hair is not heat trained. So therefore it will frizz up and it was so frizzy last weekend, but I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I'm going to do a two product um, wash and go. I do need to put a little bit of oil on it. I'm not using any protect, per, particular method, not the lock method or anything. I'm gonna be using this conditioner right here. And I'm gonna be using a little bit of gel. And then I'm just gonna use some uh, vitamin E oil, okay? Y'all be asking what I be doing. This is all I do, y'all. I don't, I don't spend hours in front of the mirror with my natural hair and I already finger detangled it just in case it looks like I might be putting some tension on it with this comb, but I'm not. Um, I've already finger detangled my hair. I'm just combing through it now. So. So yeah, here we go. And I'm gonna wear the part on this side. Of All right, so I'm gonna use conditioner first. I'm gonna open this bottle up because honey, I ain't got all day to be waiting for this conditioner to come out because this stuff is thick. Take some in my hand and I always start at the bottom because this is the newest hair. <laughs> I mean, this is the oldest hair. I'm sorry. The bottoms of your hair is the oldest part of your hair. You've had that hair for the longest, right? Because your hair grows out of your head. So always start at the bottom and then I'm going to start making sure that it's in there. Y'all see them curls? <laughs> All right. Now my hair takes forever to dry. So I'll probably let it sit for a couple of hours and then I'm gonna take a blow dryer to it. I don't have my diffuser, diffuser portion here with me, but we gonna make it work. So I'll just make sure to evenly distribute the product as much as I can. Now, because my bangs are super long, I'm going to use a brush on those. Um, just so they don't not in my face. like a deep part, but mm, see how this side just looks so much shorter than this side? Y'all, I need a haircut, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay. That looks Alright, 
So I have the conditioner in my hair. So now I'm gonna take a brush and we're gonna do the front. Just so, I just want these curls in the front to be a little bit tighter because they're gonna be in my face. Y'all see that? Y'all see that curl? So I'll just take a brush just so they could be a little bit tighter in my face. <laughs> Y'all see that? I'm trying to say more defined. <laughs> I'm like, what? They probably don't even know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I use this brush just to define the curls a little bit better. All right. So we're done with the conditioner. I'm not gonna put a whole lot. I've never used this conditioner, so I don't really know how it's gonna react on my hair. And I don't want it to um, be too heavy. Sorry, I'm cleaning my sink off. I cleaned this bathroom up so good. I don't even want to make a, I don't even want to make a mess in here. I don't even want to use it. Alright. Well, we're just gonna take some gel. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start at the edges. Now, this gel, y'all, I got from the dollar store. Okay. Never used this either. So I'm using affordable products <laughs> in this wash and go. We're gonna see how it's gonna turn out. But I hadn't um, had time to go to Target to get my Eco Styler because that's where I buy it from. So. Let's see how the back of it look. Y'all tell me how the back look. <laughs> put a little vitamin E oil in it. Alright. So I have some oil. And same thing. Start on the ends. Work our way through. And then I do, I do scrunch it just so, um, for my curls and see, I do have a few straight pieces when I had my, uh, uh, not my relaxer, when I had my, um, sew in because I did some leave out. So I do have some pieces y'all that be wanting to act up. See like this piece right here. Yeah, I probably have to cut that piece because she's not going to curl. So then I just go through it with my brush. Sorry, y'all are not up tall enough. So let me bend down. So I just take my brush and go through it just to add some more defined curls. And we're going to let this air dry. Let me do my edges. Y'all, I know that probably was the worst wash and go tutorial ever. So I apologize in advance because I'm like, girl, you did not do a whole lot of explaining. And I know this camera is not up 
far enough so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take some of this product and push it back like that. So we're going to let her dry and then I will um, take the blow dryer to it before we leave. So, all right, guys. So we just got back from the grocery store. We are about to cook dinner. We're going to have salmon. I'm going to have a sweet baked, a sweet potato, a baked sweet potato, a sweet baked potato. Sean's going to have a regular baked potato. But first, we're going to make mimosas. Got me some La Marca. This is an OG. This is my fave. I absolutely love this stuff here. And then I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna mix it with some juice. So we're gonna make watermelon mimosas. All right, let's do it. I don't have any champagne glasses. I guess I need to get some. You want one? Yeah, why not? I thought you was watching the one by AB. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to see how long people put their potatoes in there. Oh, it's good, y'all. Even though I don't think I put enough juice in here, but, you know, you only want to, you only need a splash of juice. I got juice when juice in I can put as much juice as you like in yours. I don't want that much juice in mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make make you one. You want a wine glass? You want a regular glass? It don't matter. I'm not fancy like that. You like it? I don't have no solo cups. Oh, really? Yeah. I just need to get some champagne glasses. You want more juice than you than champagne? I mean than prosecco? Mm -hmm. Huh? It be the color of that, that juice. You want it to be the color of the juice? Sean, that's not a mimosa, that's juice. This is juice. It's better than I bet. No, it tastes like watermelon juice. It tastes like watermelon juice. I never had watermelon juice, ain't you? Yeah. Are you recording me talking? Yeah. Okay. Say anything bad. No, you didn't curse. Good job. <laughs> you like it? It's all right. Okay. All right. So the watermelon mimosas are a hit. I'm about to put these potatoes in the oven, and then I'm going to cook the salmon in the air fryer. Who else likes salmon in the air fryer? Okay. Happy Sunday, guys. So Sean made us some breakfast. This looks really, really good. Thank you. And then I have a little watermelon most and i have more water watermelon juice in here this morning guys and i do la marca so all right bon appetit i hope y'all are having an amazing sunday it is raining in our neck of the woods so we're just chilling watching some youtube watching some um patio makeovers so okay guys so let me do a proper sunday introduction okay happy self-care sunday i hope you are making today about you doing something for you saying no if you need to okay resetting and recharging because you are that girl okay taking care of you because you're number one you can't pour from an empty cup you cannot pour from an empty cup okay do something special for you sis okay relax 
Listen, get you a glass of wine, get you a glass of Prosecco, watch your favorite show, you know, all of the things, <laughs> okay? Um, but yeah, my hair, y'all, kind of came out kind of cute. Let me, let me turn the camera around so I can show you guys. All right, guys, so here you go. I, I, I had a side part, but my hair is, it's, it, I, I desperately need a haircut, okay? Let's just, let's just talk about that, okay? I need a haircut um because you know i just need a haircut it has it really has no shape to it i kind of just did this um kind of like a fake heart shaped if, if you will um but yeah so this is the wash and go guys um i have not had a haircut on my curly hair in some time so that is why it kind of looks lopsided and just all over the place. It's better lighting here in the bathroom, but yeah, guys, so I'm not mad at it, not at all. Um, it's very, very healthy. Um, I don't know, this is how my wash and goes tend to look, guys. Um, I just might wear this for a couple of days just to see um, don't mind, don't mind that bed because I just got out of the bed, okay? <laughs> um, so, yeah. But anyway, Sean went to the store so we can make dinner. I'm about to tackle this kitchen because it has not been cleaned since we made breakfast this morning. So, you know, nobody wants to um, <clears throat> cook in a dirty kitchen. So, I'm about to do my part because he's cooking. I'm about to wash these dishes or put them in a dishwasher. But um, yeah, I just wanted to come on, I'm cut the light on, and talk to you guys. Um, this has been a very um, relaxing weekend. Um, we didn't do much of anything. Um, <clears throat> it rained off and on here um, out in the boonies. So yeah, we just kind of chilled. Probably we'll find a movie um, after we make dinner. And just chillax, just chillax. Um, I'm anticipating a busy week because I'm anticipating some really good news. So, um, you know, <clears throat> God is just he's been showing out, y'all. He really has been showing out. I'm so, hold on, y'all. I'm so grateful um, that um, 47 so far has been been good it's been good i can't complain um and you know without saying too much <laughs> things are looking good for your girl okay even if you know things were not looking good i'm still going to praise him because listen when you can give praise through the bumpy times through the bad weather that's the real test because anybody can praise through the good times. Anybody can say, thank you, God, when it's going good. But can you say, thank you, God, when it ain't going good? That is the real test. Okay. So remember that, sis, you give God praise all the time. Excuse my lips, child. They asked you because he is going to test his, his best. God is always testing the best. Okay. He, he tests us and to see if we can handle more, especially when we ask for more. And sometimes more responsibility comes with more responsibility. And all the, the responsibility is not always easy responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So, but um, yeah, I need to go ahead and close out this vlog because I'm not gonna lie y'all. I just wanna chill, relax. I want to have some wine. I want to watch TV. I want to have some cute tea, some quality time, un uninterrupted. I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all, but you know, sometimes people just don't be wanting this camera all up in their face. So, but um, yeah, that's the message. Okay. Can you praise him when everything ain't beautiful? Can you praise him when he has been, when he is telling you no? Okay. Can you praise him when it seems like the tunnel is long and dark? Okay. Can you praise him then? And if you can, okay, trust and believe. Okay. You are passing the test because 
he gonna test you. He's gonna test you. Um, that's just how it works. That's just how it works. Um, you have to um, be grateful for everything because life is so, so, so precious. It is so, um, it's a gift. Everyone doesn't get to live and see another day. And when you get to live and see another day, child, you need to be grateful, okay? We have running water, running clean water, even though we so bougie, we don't drink out the faucet because we want to have that old bottle water, you know what I'm saying? We have good, clean air, even though some of us might live near plants and, you know, the air might be polluted by construction, that's 95% of Houston, but we're still breathing God's good air, you know, so we have food, um, shelter, transportation, the internet, okay? Because if you're watching my videos, child, you got internet somewhere, either at work, at home, at your friend's house, you have access to the internet. So, you know, just those little things that we take for granted, um, we should be thanking him for every single day because when you are grateful for what may be small to you, but can be abundant to someone else. Because we all live, we all truly live in abundance. If you walk outside and you see God's green earth, that's abundance. And we have to be thankful for it. So when we're thankful for what might seem like small abundance to us, then that's, he will increase that abundant abundance for you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm grateful for everything that I have. But when I walk out to my car, I don't say, oh, everyone doesn't drive a Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, that's just, that's my normal everyday life. But someone else might see me in that car and be like, man, you know, that's my dream car. Even though that it is my dream car, but it's my reality now. You know what I'm saying? The G-Wagon is my ultimate dream car. But if you get what I'm saying, once we have obtained things that we desire, I'm not saying that we don't make a big deal about them anymore. We don't make a big deal about them as much. So when you have something that someone else might be dreaming to have, you know what I'm saying? That is like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I want what she has. But when I wake up, I'm grateful. But if you get what I'm saying, leave me a comment. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I just want us to be grateful for what we have. And trust and believe when you're grateful for what you have, more is to come. I feel like this was our message last week. But we can have the same message two weeks in a row, two weeks in a row because a lot of people take a lot of things for granted. And child, if you I think it's very easy to take things for granted. Um not really realizing that you're taking things for granted. But once you realize that you are taking things for granted, then you need to you need to turn that around and say, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Whoever you, whoever you pray to. I think most of you girls are um, of Christian faith, believing in God. I could be wrong, but whomever you pray to, thank him daily. Okay? Not thank him 10 times, 20 times, 100 times a day. How many of the times you feel like he deserves that praise? So, but anyway, girls, um, I hope you enjoyed this little all-over-the-place vlog. I was feeling myself yesterday cleaning that bathroom, honey. I put Church Girl on. Now, my favorite song is Alien Superstar, but child, I've been feeling Church Girl. I didn't grow up in the church, so I, it's not um, personal to me, but I do know what she's talking about because I know it's real. It's real out in those church streets because baby church folks be the first one trying to tell you how to live your life and they out there being the number one sinners even though no sin is greater than the other or the next whatever the saying is you know what i'm talking about but church church, church folks will be the main one so but yeah um if you like my content you've made it this far i hope you consider subscribing Girl, if you are an oldie but a goodie girl, you know I love you. Make sure you like, share, leave me a comment. Of course, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.